the entire history of ISRO, from first satellite launch to Chandrayaan-3. India's journey into space is nothing short of extraordinary, a tale of vision, perseverance, and indigenous innovation. From humble beginnings with a borrowed church building as a laboratory to achieving a soft landing on the moon, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has become a symbol of national pride and scientific excellence. Origins A visionary beginning India's tryst with space began in the early 1960s, in an era when most developing countries were struggling with poverty and illiteracy. Yet Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, widely regarded as the father of India's space program, saw space technology as a tool for development. He famously said, We do not have the fantasy of competing with the economically advanced nations in the exploration of the moon or the planets. But we are convinced that if we are to play a meaningful role, we must be second to none in the application of advanced technologies. 1962 to 1969, the INCOSPAR era. The Indian National Committee for Space Research, INCOSPAR, was formed in 1962 under the Department of Atomic Energy. The team worked with international collaborators to launch sounding rockets from the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, TURLS, in Kerala. The first sounding rocket was launched in 1963, marking India's first step into space. 1969, birth of ISRO. On August 15, 1969, INCOSPAR was reorganized into the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, with Dr. Sarabhai as its first chairman. The main goal was clear, use space technology for the benefit of India's development. Aryabhata. India's first satellite, 1975. India's first satellite, Aryabhata, named after the ancient Indian mathematician, was launched on April 19, 1975, from the Soviet Union. Though not launched by India itself, this marked a significant milestone in satellite technology and set the stage for future self-reliance, SLV and Rohini series. India's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3 program, was initiated in the 1970s under the leadership of Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. On July 18, 1980, the SLV-3 successfully placed the Rohini satellite RS-1 into low Earth orbit, making India the sixth nation to launch a satellite with its own rocket. The 1980s, building capabilities, INSAT and IRS programs, in the 1980s, ISRO focused on developing two vital satellite systems, INSAT, Indian National Satellite System, a series of multi-purpose satellites supporting telecommunications, television broadcasting, weather forecasting, and disaster warning. IRS, Indian Remote Sensing Satellites, aimed at resource monitoring, agriculture, forestry, water resources, and land mapping. These programs became instrumental in harnessing space for development. ASLV, a learning curve. The augmented satellite launch vehicle, ASLV, was developed to bridge the gap between the SLV and future launch systems. Though the ASLV had mixed success, it served as a critical learning platform for ISRO engineers. The 1990s, towards self-reliance, the 1990s marked a strategic shift as ISRO began focusing on operational launch vehicles and indigenous satellite production. PSLV, the workhorse. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, debuted in 1993 and became ISRO's most reliable and versatile launch vehicle. It was used to launch a wide range of satellites into polar and sun-synchronous orbits. Over the years, the PSLV built an unmatched reputation for reliability and became a favorite for launching foreign satellites. GSLV, aiming higher. To launch heavier satellites into geosynchronous orbits, ISRO began developing the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, GSLV. It faced several setbacks, especially in mastering the cryogenic engine technology. Despite early failures, India persevered and achieved success with GSLV-D5 in 2014 using an indigenous cryogenic stage, Cartosat and Oceansat series. 
India's Earth observation capabilities expanded with advanced satellites like Cartasat for high-resolution cartography and Oceansat for ocean and coastal monitoring. These satellites supported disaster management, urban planning, and resource management. Chandrayaan-1, India's first moon mission, 2008. Launched on October 22, 2008, Chandrayaan-1 was India's first mission to the moon. The spacecraft orbited the moon and deployed a moon impact probe, MIP, which made a hard landing. One of its major discoveries was detecting water molecules on the lunar surface, an international milestone that made headlines globally. Antrix Corporation. To monetize India's growing satellite launch capabilities, ESRO established Antrix Corporation as its commercial arm. It began launching foreign satellites using PSLV, offering reliable services at competitive prices. Mars Orbiter Mission, Mangalyaan, 2013. Perhaps ISRO's most iconic mission of the decade, Mangalyaan, or the Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM, was launched on November 5, 2013. 24, 2014, India became the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit, and the first in the world to do it successfully on the first attempt, at a fraction of the cost of similar Western missions. Astrosat, India's first space observatory, 2015. Launched in 2015, Astrosat was India's first dedicated multi-wavelength space observatory, allowing Indian astronomers to study stars, galaxies, and cosmic phenomena. South Asia Satellite, 2017, India, launched GSAT-9, dubbed the South Asia Satellite, as a gift to neighboring countries for communication and weather forecasting. It exemplified India's neighborhood-first policy and regional cooperation. 104 satellites in one launch, 2017. In 2017, ISRO set a world record by launching 104 satellites in a single mission using PSLV-C-37, most of them from foreign countries. This feat showcased India's capability in space deployment logistics. Chandrayaan-2, a partial success, 2019. Chandrayaan-2 was a more ambitious follow-up to its predecessor, featuring an orbiter, lander, Vikram, and rover, Pragyan. While the orbiter remains functional and continues to send data, the lander failed to make a soft landing due to a last-minute anomaly. Despite the setback, the mission demonstrated India's growing technological prowess. The 2020s, private sector and policy reform, in June 2020, the Indian government opened the space sector to private players, forming the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center, InSpace, to regulate and support private companies. This marked a shift toward greater commercialization and innovation in the space industry. EOS and Communication Satellites India launched several Earth Observation Satellites, EOS, for real-time imaging, agriculture monitoring, and strategic use. Communication satellites like GSAT-30 and GSAT-31 supported growing demands for broadband and telecommunication. Gaganyan, India's human spaceflight program. ISRO's upcoming mission, Gaganyan, aims to send Indian astronauts, Gaganauts, to space aboard an indigenous spacecraft. No delay due to COVID-19, progress continues with uncrewed test flights plan. Chandrayaan-3, Triumph of Persistence, 2023. After the partial failure of Chandrayaan-2's lander, ISRO returned with a focused mission. Chandrayaan-3, featuring only a lander, Vikram, and a rover, Pragyan, launched on July 14, 2023. On August 23, 2023, India made history by becoming the first country to successfully land near the moon's south pole. The lander touched down safely and deployed the rover, which explored the lunar surface, conducted experiments, and sent back valuable data. This success placed India among the elite lunar explorers, joining the ranks of the US, Russia, and China. Conclusion, a journey of resilience and innovation. Israel's story is one of unmatched dedication, frugal engineering, and national vision. From the launch 
Looking ahead, ISRO is poised to continue breaking barriers with missions to the Sun, the Dicha L1, Venus, and even interplanetary exploration. With Gaganyaan on the horizon and a thriving private space ecosystem, India's space journey has only just begun.